Hi, welcome to another Notions uh, video. Today we are not doing craft or, or any drawings. So this is a little project that uh, I wanted to do for a long time. So what we're going to make today is a camera sliders. So apparently I got this solid rods, which is my diameter is 10 mm and uh, the length is 500 mm long. Uh, I got it from my brother-in-laws. This is a rod that uh, taken out from a printer. So um, what we need is some parts. So I, I searched around online and we find out there's a lot of uh, 3D printers parts that it can be used for this project. So uh, firstly, I, I brought this uh, screw rod. This is the 8 nm screw shaft and uh, the length is 600 mm. The shelf uh, come with come with two pillow blocks bearing and one copper screw, uh, which is I already screwed it on the wood. I bought an extra one, so I can sandwich the sliders, so you can move the sliders and couples of uh, mounting rubber mounting which to reduce the vibrations and the set come with a coupling and also I brought in two sliders this is a sliders block aluminium it's quite heavy uh, you can see there's four uh, rows of bearings inside so you can move smoothly on the rod and also bought four of the, the real supports so this is four, so you got each one at the end of the rod. And also brought a motor. This is a 375 RPM motor, low torque motor. So, so you guys more powers to rotate the shelf. And lastly is a speed controller. This is a speed controller so that you can uh, speed up the motor and slow it down. And it also comes with a switch, front and back switch. That's all parts that you need to make a sliders. Let's begin. Okay, I already prepared a, a piece of wood. This is a recycled wood. And uh, as a base, so I guess you can see already mark all the place to mount the holders. First, you have to start with the the bar hold this not too tight so you can adjust the position you insert the rod okay for info this is crucial you must get uh, the both end of the rod parallel so when you move along when you mount this on the wood so when you move it along you wouldn't stuck so the measurement is, has to be very precise for both both end as I already marked the position earlier this is precisely the same length, same width at the both sides. Right, next is to install the pillow blocks bearing. Make sure it's right in the center. Remember every position, every measurement has to be very precise so you can the sliders can move smoothly and uh, to make sure the motor is aligned, the height with the shaft. Now is to install the coupling. So we test the whether it's parallel. Okay, it's nice and smooth. So you don't have any resistance, and uh, it will spin uh, smoothly. And um, I make this uh, acrylic brackets. 
to hold the motor okay. and don't tighten it just yet just test the position remember to test everything before you tighten all the screws lock the shelf the good thing about this coupling is you can see there's a gap in between it's like a spring so you, if you are not really precise you have some free play around move when the motor is spinning the other step is rather important which go first which go last because they have a very tight space here all right motors has been installed it's a housing for the controller uh, with acrylic this is a 2mm acrylic so to stick them or put them together, you just need a coral foam, right? So when I make a base from the recycled wood, so this will hold the controller. There's some screw here to make some space at the bottom so the heat can escape. Then uh, we hook up the wire. This is for the power supply. The other side is for the motor. And uh, before I cover up, we do the test first on the motor. Okay, this is a 12 volt and a 1 m adapter. It's best if you can get a 2 m because I'm using what I already have, existing adapter. Moment of truth. Power on. Okay, there's a light indicator, which means it's power on. All right, it's working. But as you can tell, the motor is not really aligned. It's moving. We can do a final adjustment after this just to show you. All right, that will do the job. Hold them in place, cover up, lock it in.
okay it's done so um this is this will be the mounting for the camera okay. place the boost tighten them simultaneously test whether there is any resistance between the the bar and the sliders lock the bar let's try Let's uh, shoot some videos, see whether you have a lot of vibrations, that's what I'm concerned. Moment of truth. Yeah, it turned out quite solid in the footage. So um, it's heavy, yes, it's heavy, um, but it's solid. Since uh, I'm not going to carry this like this around or going to outdoors, um, it doesn't matter the weight. Um, and I'm most of the most of the time I'm shooting all these tiny tiny uh, carving items. So it's good enough. Yep, that's all um, for these uh, sliders DIY projects. Uh, if you guys find this project is uh, helpful, uh, please share it, like and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you and uh, see you in the next video.